According to several industry polls, SEMA is the second most popular framework for data projects. So what is SEMA and should you use it? In the 1990s, the SAS Institute codified SEMA, a process model for data mining. SEMA has five steps, sample, explore, modify, model, and assess. You can use the SEMA methodology to work through a wide range of data mining, data science, machine learning, and AI projects. SEMA has five stages. The first is sample. Here, you choose a subset of the data that is big enough to contain a critical mass of the data, but small enough to still easily process. Second, explore. Explore the data and conduct statistical analyses to study interconnected relationships between data elements. Third, modify. Now you create, select, and transform the data to prepare it for modeling. Fourth, model. With the data sets you created in the prior phase, apply various statistical techniques to identify the data and algorithms that best predict the target outcome. Fifth, assess. In this final stage, evaluate how useful and reliable that model is for the study topic. SEMA is simple. It provides an elementary overview of the steps you need to fulfill a data modeling project. However, SEMA cuts off the initial and final phases of a true data initiative. In practice, you shouldn't start a project by sampling the data. This can be dangerous because you could dive into the project without a clear understanding of its objectives. Moreover, at the end of the project, SEMA does not consider how you deploy and operate your solution. Thus, if you use SEMA, be sure to augment its core processes with broader project planning and deployment phases. Alternatively, consider a more comprehensive lifecycle such as ChrisDM which is the most popular life cycle for data projects. Watch the Christian video to learn more. So what do you think? What additional advantages or disadvantages do you see with SEMA? Post in the comments. Thank you.